Hello dear students and welcome to the next lesson. As we will see soon, sine, cosine and tangent can be used not only for calculating triangles, but they also play an important role in physics and higher mathematics. So to go further, we need a new tool, and this tool is called the unit circle. With the help of the unit circle, we are able to determine sine, cosine and tangent for any angle. The angle can have any value, and we can determine sine, cosine, and tangent values for it. You will learn now how that works. Let's remember the previous lessons. We already looked at the angles from 0 to 90 degrees and determined the sine and cosine values for these angles. For that we set the hypotenuse to 1. And then we were able to read the sine value here. And the cosine value here on the side. And for angles over 90 degrees, we have already seen, we use a reference triangle, a reference angle on this side, to determine sine and cosine. Here we just make sure that the value of the cosine is negative. Because it goes from the right side, which is positive from 0 to 1, to the left side, where it changes from 0 to negative 1. As you can see, we have a part of the circle from 0 to 90 degrees. From 0 to 180 degrees we have a semicircle. And now we can actually go over 180 degrees and just keep drawing the circle. It will look like that. And as we did in the lesson on circles, we can keep going past all possible angles in a circle. From 0 degrees, over 90 degrees, over 180 degrees, over 270 degrees to 360 degrees. And after 360 degrees we can continue here with 361 degrees. So let's add 360 degrees up here. And we see, even for these angles, there are sine and cosine values. And here, for example, 450 degrees is pointing in the same direction as 90 degrees. And when we go around 360 degrees again, we have 810 degrees, and so on. And, as you can see, the sine value, even though we keep going around, stays constant at 1. So sine of 90 degrees is 1, and the sine of 90 plus 360, so sine of 450 degrees is also 1. It's the same for cosine, for example, the cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1. If we now add 360 to 180, so we go around again, we get to 540 degrees. And the cosine of 540 degrees is negative 1 again. Or 900 degrees or 1260 degrees. So we can say, the sine of alpha is the same as the sine of alpha plus 360 degrees. Which is the same as the sine of alpha minus 360 degrees. And the same for cosine. Cosine alpha is the same as cosine alpha plus 360 degrees. Which is the same as cosine of alpha minus 360 degrees. Afterwards we will take a closer look at this when we talk about periodic functions, and also with the so-called identities. Well, back to the sine and cosine values over 180 degrees. So let's take a look at the values between 180 and 360 degrees. First of all we take the sine values for it. We know that. 0 to 90 degrees have a positive sine value. 90 to 180 degrees have a positive sine value. And as a reminder, this value, the 0.766 in the example, please always read it from the y-axis. Not on the x-axis, because sine is on the y-axis. Always look to the y-axis to read the sine value, which is 0.766 here. Just remember what we said, sine equals y, which is height. And as we see, if we go over 180 degrees, on the y-axis we are in the range 0 to minus 1. 
specifically minus 0.515 that is the sine of 211 degrees is minus 0.515 and now if we head to 270 degrees, we see, we reach minus 1. And if we go further now from 270 degrees to 360 degrees, we can see. The sine value increases, so the negative value goes to 0, until we finally reach 0, at 0 degrees or 360 degrees. We can notice, for angles from 0 to 180 degrees, we have a positive sine value. And for angles between 180 degrees and 360 degrees, the sine value is negative. As you can see, the unit circle is a very helpful tool to determine the sine value for any angle. At this point let's clarify, why the unit circle is actually called the unit circle. We can see that the radius of the circle is constant here with 1. The radius is the hypotenuse of the triangle, it is 1 unit long. No matter where we are, the radius of the circle, the green line is always 1 unit long. Therefore it is called the unit circle. And, as we said before, since the hypotenuse is 1 long, we can also get the sine value just by reading the length of the opposite leg. And we can do the same with the cosine value. Since the hypotenuse is 1, we can always read the cosine value as the length of the adjacent. Or on the x-axis, cosine of 56 degrees is 0 0.559 rounded, the 0.559 is about here, let's go over 90 degrees, and you see, the cosine value is negative, and now we go over 180 degrees, you see, the cosine value is still negative. So remember, to read off the cosine value, look directly at the x-axis from the point and read the x-value there. Look for sine on the y-axis. What value do we have here? Look for the x-axis for cosine. What value do we have here? Cosine of 212 degrees is minus 0 0.848. Now let's go to 270 degrees, you see. At 270 degrees we look up and we hit the x-axis at 0. And now we go over 270 degrees. Let's choose 315 degrees. We hit the x-axis at around 0 0.707, which is positive, because we are between 0 and 1. And if we now go to 360 degrees, we have a cosine value of 1. So here the unit circle is a very helpful tool as well. Let's remember. Cosines for angles between 0 and 90 degrees are positive. but also for angles between 270 and 360 degrees, so everything on the right side. And the cosine is negative for all angles over 90 degrees up to 270 degrees. At 270 degrees we have zero. And your task is to memorize this circle. You definitely need to have these prominent points in mind. Let us switch to sine now. Sine of 0 degrees is 0, because if we look to the left, the y-axis is at 0. The sine of 90 degrees, up here, what would that be? Right, 1. Because when we go up, you see, the blue line is getting longer, until it reaches 1. Sine of 90 degrees is 1. And if we now go to 180 degrees, what do we have for the sine value? I hope you don't say minus 1 now, because it's 0. Because we put our point here and look at the y-axis, and here it has a height of 0. Let's do that. You see, the sine value gets smaller, and here at 180 degrees we have 0. The next important point is down here, at 270 degrees. What do we have for the y-value? Correct. Here on the y-axis we have minus 1. 
So we are going to 270 degrees, as you can see, the sine value is negative, and down here our point lies directly on the y-axis at minus 1. And the last important point is 360 degrees. Of course, that corresponds to a sine value of 0 degrees. And sine of 0 degrees or sine of 360 degrees, looking to the left on the y-axis, is 0. When you master that, you are already one big step forward. And of course you also need the same for cosine. We always get cosine values by reading values from the x-axis. Cosine of 0 degrees is 1, since we are on the x-axis. You see, the cosine value gets smaller, so we draw a line and we see. Here is the x value, the cosine value is 0 0.629, and if we now go to 90 degrees, we hit the x-axis directly at 0. That is, cosine of 90 degrees, which is an important point, is 0. The next important point is 180 degrees. What will we have here for the x value, or what will we have here for the cosine value? Right, that's minus 1. Let's set the point to 180 degrees, and you see. The cosine of 180 degrees is minus 1. What will the cosine of 270 degrees be? Right, if we put the point here, we have to look at the x-axis, and look up here. The x-axis is then hit at 0. The cosine of 270 degrees is 0. And the last important point is 360 degrees, and that's again 1. Cosine of 360 degrees has the same value as cosine of 0 degrees. Because they both point in the same direction. Good, if you can do that, then we have taken the next big step. So now you are able to determine sine and cosine with the help of the unit circle. The next time someone asks you. What is the sine of 90 degrees? Then you imagine the unit circle, and draw in the angle. So 90 degrees would be here, and then you know. We want sine, and sine is the y-axis, the height. How high up is this point? Right, 1, so sine of 90 degrees is 1. If you ask what is the sine of 180 degrees? Set the point at 180 degrees, we are asked for sine, which is the value on the y-axis. And that is, we look right here, 0. So the sine of 180 degrees is 0. And for cosine you do it the same way. You find 0 degrees, then you know, for cosine we need the x-axis, and the x-value here is 1. So we can say, cosine of 0 degrees is 1. And if someone asks us about cosine of 270 degrees, you set the angle to 270 degrees, and what do we have here for the x value? Right, we are looking at the x axis, it's 0. The cosine of 270 degrees is 0. By the way, this program we use for the unit circle can be found on our website, and you can set your own values here and test your knowledge. Good luck in your exams.